Today we're gonna go back to the time of Julius Caesar because we're gonna create a Python program to encrypt and decrypt messages using, of course, the Caesar cipher. Okay, so let's say that we've got a list of letters like that. Okay, I'm actually going to copy and paste it like that. Okay, perfect. Of course, here for the sake of simplicity, I only have lowercase letters, but you could add uppercase letters, numbers, etc., etc. If you if you wish to. So let's quickly go over how the Caesar cipher works. Okay, so basically you have a key. Okay, and you need to shift forward all the letters by that amount. So let's say you've got a key three. Okay, which is the key that Julius Caesar actually used. Okay, and we want to encrypt the letter G. Okay, so we are here with the key three, you do something like G, one, two, three, okay? So G is actually J like that, okay? Then to decrypt, you do the same thing, but the other way around. So you need to shift backwards. So you start from J, you do one, two, three, and you get to G like that, okay? So J decrypted is G. But what happens if you have, let's say, a key of five and you want to encrypt for example, X, okay? Because here you're like one, two, three, four, five. You're here, you don't have letters. So in this case, you wrap around. So you do something like one, two, three, four, five, and this becomes C, okay? So you've got X becomes C like that. And then the other way around, you do something like one, two, three, four, five, X, you get X, so C, you decrypt it and you get X again, okay? So basically this is how the Caesar cipher works, okay? So let's actually delete this like that, perfect. Okay, so let's start our program with a usual title, like Caesar cipher program, something like that. And then we print a little space and then we ask the user print. Do you want to encrypt or decrypt like that? Okay. And then we do something like user input. And then we do something like input E, D. So they can enter E or D. Okay. And then we convert it to lowercase. So they can actually enter in uppercase E and uppercase D as well. Okay. Then we print another little space. And we do something like if user input is equal to e then we print encryption mode selected something like that and we print another little space then we actually need the key okay so we convert the input to an integer and we do something like enter the key one through 26. Why 26? Because we've got 26 letters, okay? Then we need to have the text. So we can ask, actually ask the user to enter the text to encrypt, something like that. Perfect. Then if user input is equal to D, then we actually can copy the whole thing here like that and we can write something like decryption mode selected enter 1 through 26 which is the same exact same thing then here decrypt like that okay by the way just a side note as you can see i haven't done any input validation you could actually do that as an exercise and check for example if the user enters E or D for encryption and decryption and allow any other value, or even check if they enter a valid number as a key, etc. etc. If you decide to do that, I actually have a video about that and also about menus if you want to create also a little menu. So here we need to create functions to encrypt and decrypt. Okay, so we're gonna do that up here. Like here, you can write something like let's define a function to encrypt, encrypt, and then we want the plain text as parameter and then also the key perfect then ciphertext an empty string and then we go through the plain text letter by letter so for letter in plain text then we convert the letter to lowercase because 
we want the text to be like all lowercase letters okay the cipher text then if not letter equals to a space okay because if the letter is actually a space i don't want to do anything because by adding spaces you could sort of guess the words by looking at the length so you write something like hello space how space are space you space etc etc then you can sort of guess by seeing the length of the words etc so if you sort of jump everything together and you've got a long long text without spaces then it could be more difficult okay so if this is not a space we want to find the index of the letter and i'll explain you this in a minute so basically we call find on letters which is this one you've got a letter in the plain text you use find to find the index of the letter for example let's say that you've got letter b okay the letter b is not a space and then you call find letter and then index will be zero one would be one for b okay so this returns basically the index but if the letter is not present then this returns minus one okay so in the case of if index is equal to minus one for example this means that the letter in the plain text is not in our letters let's say you've got a special character number etc so we just want to add it as is okay so we do something like ciphertext plus equals letter okay so we add it as is but if we actually got an index okay which is not minus one then we want to actually shift the letter okay and to do that we create a new index and we do something like index plus key okay so basically if you've got b you've got zero one the index is one and you've got a key of three then index becomes one two three four okay so you go up here you've got like zero one two three four and you got e so using the new index you can get the new letter basically okay but do you remember when i explained you that if you reach the last letter then we need to wrap around and start from the beginning etc etc well to do that with python we first need to check if the new index is greater or equal to 26 okay so we can do something like if new index is greater or equal 26 like that okay greater or equal because as the indexes start from zero okay the last one in this case is 25 so although we have 26 letters you start from zero and you, the last letter is 25 so if the index is 26 for example we are already out of range okay so in this case if new index is let's say 27 28 30 whatever or, and also 26 we are out of range so we need to do something like this we need to do something like new index minus equals 26 okay why 26 because basically 26 is in the number of letters so let's say that you've got z and you want to encrypt z with a key two okay you would wrap around one two and would be b okay but with python you've got the index 25 the current index because you've got z and then you add two so you've got 25 26 27 and 27 is here you don't have a 27 okay so what do you do you subtract 26 so you've got 25 26 27 minus 26 1 1 is the index of b because 0 1 b and this is the same as you can see z a b i hope that makes sense and then when you've got the new index by doing this you can actually add it to the ciphertext okay so letters and then you do something like new index okay so you get the new index you actually access the letter at the new index then down here we can actually return our ciphertext like that and this is the encryption then we need to also create a function to decrypt it so you've got like decrypt and here you've got ciphertext not plain text anymore and then here plain text of course you still go through all the letters then if not letter is a space that's the same you still get the same thing if the index is minus one then you of course we need to ciphertext ciphertext plain text plain text like that but here the index is actually minus key okay 
and the same thing here so less than zero you need to add 26 okay because now this is the other way around so basically if you're here with a key two you've got one minus two becomes minus one it's less than zero okay so basically you add 26 which means basically means one zero minus one plus 26 you get 25 and 25 is a z like that okay this is exactly the same actually here you need to go through the letters in the ciphertext one thing that we can actually do is instead of having the 26 here because now you've got the 26 because you've got 26 letters but let's say that you've got more letters you would have to actually go here and change the length so we can actually do something like num letters len letters okay so in this case if you add a letter etc etc you you've got these changes accordingly and then we can use this instead of the 26 here like that and also here like this okay so actually you add the number of letters okay and here same thing okay perfect as you can see here we've got a lot of repeated code okay and then let's actually see if everything works and then we can actually put everything into a one single function to make it even better okay but of course to use those functions you need to call them down here okay so when you want to encrypt then you do something like ciphertext is equal to encrypt like that and then we need to add the text and the key and then here you can actually print something like cipher text let's actually make this an f string like that and then here we add a cipher text like that okay then down here we can do the same thing but this is plain text we call like that and then here plain text perfect like that okay so now we can actually run that and then we'll see how to create a single function but before we actually do that drop a comment down below and let me know if you're liking the video a little bit of support is always appreciated okay so let's see how it works and if this works okay so this is a cipher yes i want to encrypt encryption mode selected three text to encrypt hello i am fabio something like that okay so this is a cipher text let's copy it then do you want to encrypt or decrypt decrypt q3 the text to decrypt this one hello i'm fabio this is working like a charm so so cool okay so let's actually now create a single function to make things even better okay because now you've got a lot of repeated code and i don't like repeated code okay so let's actually comment those out like this like that perfect then down here we can do something like def encrypt encrypt like that then you've got the text the mode and the key because of course you need the mode to understand what to do then the result is an empty string then if mode is equal to d decryption mode then the key so if the key is five then in decryption mode it becomes minus five and you'll see why we've done it then we go through the letters as we did above in text in this case okay we make the letter lowercase as usual and then same thing as we did above if letter if not letter a space okay and we get the index so letters find and we find the letter perfect if the index is equal to minus one then we add the letter as is okay perfect so, okay else and now you see why we actually did something like minus key up here okay so the new index is equal to index plus key okay so if we are encrypting the text then the new index let's say the key is three then you do something like index plus three but if we are decrypting it then here the key from three becomes minus three and down here you do something like index plus minus three 
So you actually do index minus three, okay? So you're sort of shifting backwards, okay? As you know, we need to do that when we are decrypting the text, okay? Then if new index is greater or equal num letters, okay? We're using already the, the length of the string of letters. Then we can do something like new index minus equals num letters, okay? Because we are wrapping around here. Okay, leave new index less than zero, then we do something new index plus equals num letters. So here we're going backwards and if our index is less than zero, then we need to wrap around the other way around, okay? Then after doing this, you can actually add the letter, the new letter, okay? After the shift happened like this, and we can return the result. Okay, so basically here you are using just one function to do the same thing. Then we need to actually change the function calls down here. So instead of having ciphertext encrypt, you do something like encrypt, decrypt, then you've got the text, the mode, and then the mode could be the user input, and then the key, and here the same thing. So we can actually copy this and paste it here like that, and this should actually work. Let's actually see if we made any mistakes. So Python, I want to encrypt. Enter the key, let's say six. Hello, I am Fabio. Now I'm using also the uppercase letters like that, and also let's say a number like Fabio one. As you can see, the one is still the same, okay? And you don't have uppercase letters anymore. Let's actually copy this like that, and then let's decrypt it. So six, enter the text to decrypt. Okay, hello, I am Fabio one. Okay, everything is working like a charm. So, 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 so cool. So since you got to the end of this video, why stop now? On the screen, there is another cool video about Python waiting for you. Click on it and I'll see you there.